I have fat fingers and I keep muting <laughs> strings. Is it just me? How can I play the notes clearly? All right. So if you have fat fingers, how the heck do you stop muting strings so you can play the notes clearly? So you can play the chords clearly, so you can play lead guitar clearly, etc. So one thing that I like to mention a lot, and I just mentioned it a minute ago, is that there are guitar players with every size and shape fingers imaginable that are amazing guitar players, right? I would look up a guy named Sean Lane, S-H-A-W-N-L-A-N-E, Sean Lane. I wholeheartedly believe he is one of the best guitar players of all time, even if you don't like his style. There's just something in him that he was able to express. We all have inside of us. We all have that music inside of us that we want to express, but just the way that he does it, the way he's able to do it, it's, it's, I mean, miraculous is the only word that, that comes to mind right now. But please go watch a video of Sean Lane. Um, unfortunately, he had a disease where he ended up dying in his early 40s. It's a really sad story. One of the greatest guitar players of all time, similar to like Stevie Ray Vaughan or somebody like that, right? Amazing guitar player, died way before their time. Sean had this disease where he had to take such, uh, certain medications that actually caused him to gain weight. So if you watch his progression, and you can look it up on YouTube, um, different videos of him. There you go, right there. That's a perfect example of Sean near the end of his life where, I mean, obviously he's not a small guy. He's a very, very large guy. He has very, very large figures. But this guy, if you just watch him play, I mean, the, the music is just, it's, it's, it's in a spiritual realm. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just, it's mind-blowingly good. Um, but first of all, I just want to encourage you that it doesn't matter the size or the shape of your fingers. It just matters of how you actually pick up the guitar and play the thing. Now, if somebody has bigger fingers, let's say, than smaller fingers, well, due to physics, of course, it's going to be easier for somebody with a huge finger. Let's say my finger was two fingers big like this. It's going to be a lot easier for me to smash a couple of strings at the same time by accident. This is simple physics, right? And let's say I'm a five-year-old girl. Obviously, my fingers are going to fit into the strings easier than if I weighed maybe three, four hundred pounds, right? Like, unfortunately, like Sean Lane. But again, that doesn't matter. What matters is what I'm imagining is that most people uh, don't realize that they they play the guitar, they press down the strings with more of the pad of their finger, this part of their finger right here. And I'm not saying they play like this, like if I was going to play this note right here. I'm not saying that they play like this, they try to bar the string or anything, but what you wanna do is play more with the, the tip of your finger, just like this. I don't mean so much on the tip where your fingernail is digging into the fretboard, that's not gonna allow your finger to move around, it's gonna feel very uncomfortable, and you're probably not gonna be able to make the note ring out, but you wanna play with your fingertips. And if you notice really, really good guitar players, uh, watch my fingers. If you notice really, really good guitar players, you see how the tips of my fingers are touching the string right now? Just like if I'm doing this, it's the tips. I'm not doing this. I'm not pressing the pads of my fingers down. And that's a very common problem for up and coming guitar players or amateur guitar players, partially because the actual muscles in your knuckles or the actual muscles in your fingers aren't quite strong enough yet. And that's just a result of number one, uh, not doing enough dexterity exercises, which is one of the things that we teach. And then another thing is simply experience. You know, simply playing a, a long time, you develop certain muscles. Just like if you were going to join a bowling league and maybe uh, maybe you've you just started bowling uh, you know six months ago and then you have a friend who's been bowling his entire life he goes to bowling tournaments etc well of course he's going to have little muscles in his fingers uh, he's going to have extra a little bit of extra coordination that you're just not going to have in the beginning that's just part of the journey guys we're all on this guitar playing journey together look it's a journey they, they, there's a reason they don't call it a, uh, a sprint right? It's not a sprint to, let me just learn everything I can about guitar in two months, and then I can play like Ian Vague Malmsteen or, you know, Jimi Hendrix or, or whatever. There are a lot of people that can play like that, but it took them a lot longer than two months. And the point is, just focus on the journey. Focus on the incremental improvements that you can do every single day. In this case, if you have large fingers, I suggest trying to practice with the tips of your fingers. Even if you mute strings that are around the string that you're trying to play, just like this, if I'm trying to play this string right here, even if I touch this string up here or this string down here, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna make this one string ring out. So that's exactly what I would try. Uh, what I would suggest is just playing, try to practice with the tips of the fingers.